Right, afternoon all. It's Sunday. I don't even know what date it is. It's a Sunday anyway. It's nice and sunny. It's about quarter of three, ten to three in the afternoon, and I've got the rare couple of hours to myself. Uh, normally I wouldn't go out shooting this time of day, but because it's bright and sunny, but there's loads of cloud in the sky, and I pass a field on my way home from work, a rapeseed field, which hopefully is just hanging on. Um, nice blue sky, some white fluffy clouds, so I reckon it might make for a cool photograph. So, um, yeah, let's go have a look, see what it looks like. No, my luck is probably at it now, but I only need to go shopping, but I'm not going to bore you in the video with that. So, see you in the field. Cheers. Well, the reason I've chosen this field is because there's nothing distracting on the horizon. It's just rapeseed sky. Just trying to find a nice composition. Obviously, thinking about magazine front covers, portrait, always remember that. Problem is, if you go too low, is there one that's already broken? I don't want to pick one, but if you go too low, when you shoot high, you don't really pick any of the flowers out, but if you go low, like my finger in this picture at the minute, everything is just kind of in nice focus, I suppose. But if, if you go close in low, see that there is like in your face. That's the problem. If I bring the camera down here, it's, it's picking out individual um, bits of rapeseed, which I don't want to do. I just want a nice carpet of yellow and then clouds and sky. So I'm not going to take the camera down too low because I don't want individual, I mean, I could just blur it, I suppose, but I just want a carpet and a sky. So I'm probably a three quarter sky. I'm gonna shoot at about 40 mil, because if I go too wide, there's trees there and there's trees there. About 40 mil, not that that makes any difference to you anyway. Well, will it make a difference to you? Not really, because um, I'm just shooting it as a carpet. I'm not focusing close. Probably was the sun. I might get away. I might have to use a graduated filter to slow the sky down because the sky is still a little. Well, I don't know actually. It's not a huge difference. The sky is a little bit brighter than the foreground of the rapeseed field, so I might just drop a graduated filter in just to slow the sky down a little bit. Probably one third rapeseed, two thirds sky. So what I've done with my Canon camera when I look through the focus points, the bottom one I know that's roughly a third of the way up. So what I'm going to do is put that just on the horizon where the rapeseed meets the sky. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine focusing points. I mean, you may, this is a really old camera, so. But yeah, I know that my bottom focus point is about a third of the way in the scene. So that's what I'm going to put on the horizon. Focus there, because it doesn't matter, because this is just going to be a nice, nice golden blanket. Probably have more, more of a focus on the clouds, really, because when I, with a quick shutter speed, I want to freeze them. See if I can get them nice and punchy and crisp, and then I might try some long exposures. Now I know normally I'm an F16 person, but give F8 a try. F8 is giving me a nice, my histograms are nice, nice. No, no blow in the highlights, bright to the right, no, no darks. Don't need a graduated filter because this, yes, there's not a huge amount of difference between the, the foreground and the sky. There's a bit, but I don't need filters. So I've gone for F8, it's giving me five hundredths of a second. Ding. Looks like this. Nothing brilliant, but it's alright. It's a nice picture. Can't moan at it. Now what I'm going to do, chuck a big stopper on. Don't like using the big stopper much because I hate waiting around for it. But because it's so bright now, shutter speeds aren't going to be overly extended. It's nice because it's so bright, I can even focus in live view with this thing. Shop him on, live view. Problem is, it's one of those, when I use the big stop or do long exposures, it's nice to have something to anchor the scene to, but this might be quite nice. It might be just like a bit of an arty piece, so normally I've got either like steps or something, just something in static in the scene. Uh, ISO 100, F16, getting a shutter speed of 13 seconds. Good thing to do is to see if the clouds are moving. I'll just get anything, hold it up, put it on the edge of a cloud, and just count to like 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-
to and then you can see if the clouds are moving it's weird because i'm still here and i've got i've got the wind on the back of my neck going that way but you look up in the sky and the clouds are going from right to left 13 seconds f16 batteries ran out if you watch this channel a lot you know i don't have much but in fact yeah i've been charged this for about six months it's not normal the slr batteries have run out but always got another one in there ready to rock and roll f16 13 seconds i've pushed the histogram so it's just a little bit to the right hopefully those clouds will move a bit bit of movement there not a lot but this is what it looks like I always prefer if I'm doing shots where I use a big stop or I go for long exposure and, and I'm, I've got clouds in the scene. I always prefer it if the clouds are coming to me or going away and it kind of sucks you into the picture if you know what I mean. Whereas now they're going from right to left. I don't really like that much, but it's just personal opinion I suppose. In fact, what I might do, I might add, add a bit of digital blur as well and see what that looks like. That's what this looks like. there you go a couple of shots like I say I wouldn't normally come out at, at 20 past three in the day it's just not normally the kind of weather I go for I'm either sunrise or sunset but gives me an excuse to use a big stopper nice bright field blue sky with some fluffy white clouds in cool see you in the next vid cheers bye